Well, I'm Luther Ragsdale, broker, CEO of Platinum Real Estate. Thank you for everybody for joining me today. Um, all of my information is right there on the screen. Uh, best way to contact me is via email, luther at platinumrealestate.com. That's luther, L-U-T-H-E-R, at platinumrealestate.com. Personal website, lutherragsdale.com, and corporate site is platinumrealestate.com. So if you have any questions, any any type of information but that you'd like to have from me, please let me know. Um, as always, we do have excellent career opportunities. Um, we have one-on-one -on -one coaching. We also have a 100% plan. So the coaching plan that we have here, here at Platinum Real Estate is for real estate agents who, uh, who are saying, you know what, Luther, I want to take my career to the next level. Maybe I'm a new agent. Maybe I'm an experienced a, a, a agent, but I'm just stuck. Maybe um, I made good money last year, 50000 100000 150000 whatever it is, uh, but I want to go to the next level. I, I want to take my career to the next level. I want to make more money. I want to have more success. I want to try something different. I want um, to basically take my career to the next level, then coaching is for you. If you are a real estate agent and you're saying, Luther, listen, I am cool, I am good, um, but I would like to earn under the 100% a program, we have a 100% program as well. All agents in the coaching program, after you complete the coaching, you end up on the 100%. So all agents end up on the 100% plan, but at Platinum Real Estate, we have both the 100% and the coaching plan. We have excellent training every single week, just like, the, uh, just like what you're going to you know, experience today. To contact us, give us a call or text 404-994-4600. That's 404 404- nine nine four um nine nine four four six zero zero or you can always email careers at platinum real estate dot com that's careers at platinum real estate dot com so always there always available um always have career opportunities for you to take advantage of so let's jump right into this. Um, you know, we've been experiencing the pandemic, you know, um, Corona, COVID-19. Um, very, very, you know, this thing has spread it not only throughout our country, but this thing has spread throughout the world. So what's our goal? What's our goal today? My goal today is take a little bit of time and I want to show you um, some uh, some things but that you can do currently with your real estate business and some things you can do in the future. Some of the things that I'm going to uh, going to uh, going to talk about today is not only things you can do now, but things you can do in the future. Um, so let's talk about the current situation and, and, and the kind of where we're at. And let's talk about where we're going to go, because the goal of the of the webinar today is just simply to give you some quick information on here's some things as a if you own a real estate business so if you're a licensed real estate agent real estate investor um if you're thinking about getting your a uh, your real estate license you want to get uh, your uh, uh, your real estate license let's talk about where we're at now and 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 where we're going and let's talk about how we can deal with this thing called COVID-19. Now first thing I would like to ask everybody on on the uh, webinar today I want to launch a launch a quick little poll. Quick question if you're on the webinar I'm going to launch a poll and here's the question the question is um currently are we experiencing a buyer's market or a seller's market that's the first thing we have to 
to understand and we have to know before we start to move forward. Because we have to know what type of a market that we're in so we know how to compete. So we know how to um, strategize. We know how to market. We know how to advertise. So the first question we want to ask is, currently, is it a buyer's market or is it a seller's market? Now let's talk about what exactly is a buyer's market and what's a seller's market so that we are, you know, um, um, understanding this. So if we have a market where um, there's not a lot of houses and the sellers have the um, benefit, let's say, we call it a seller's market. All right. When you flip that market, we call it a buyer's market. So the first thing we have to do when we talk about growing our real estate business, when we talk about growing our business and taking it, taking it to the next level, we have to understand, um, are we currently living in a buyer's market or a seller's market? Because that will help us understand how we compete. Now I'm looking at the poll and I'm seeing, wow, it's about, um, it's pretty close here. We have about um, 40 something percent is saying buyer's market. And then we got about 60% of the folks saying uh, seller's market. I'm going to give y'all a little bit more time to vote because we have about, you know, 80 percent of y'all have voted. So I'm going to wait just a little bit, cast your vote. Are we currently in a buyer's market or a seller's market? <clears throat> That's the first thing we have to get right because when we advertise, when we grow our business, even how we run our business, we have to understand what type of market that we're in right now. Okay? Currently, is it a buyer's market or is it a seller's market? Okay? When I look at the poll, and I'm getting ready to close it, it looks like 60% of you guys are pretty much, well, to be more specific, 56% of you guys are saying, Luther, it's a seller's market. Got about 44% saying, no, Luther, it's a buyer's market. So it's pretty much right down the middle. You know, it's 6% uh, 6% away from being 50-50. So we pretty much got about 50% of y'all saying buyer's market, 50% saying seller's market. 56, 44, we are really pretty uh, uh, pretty close. Oh, got a couple of more votes in there. Um, but it's about the same thing. So uh, we're pretty much down even here, right? We are pretty much straight down the middle on, you know, Half of you guys, pretty much a little over half, is saying seller's market. And then we have, you know, the other half saying, Luther, it's a buyer's market. And so that's the first thing we have to understand. Forget the pandemic. Forget all of this other stuff. We have to have strategies, and we have to know what type of market that we're in so we can then compete. Okay? Now, just to... Just to uh, and I'm going to um, end that poll. Um, but right now with the, with, the, with the current market, there's more buyers than properties out there to purchase, okay? More people are out there trying to buy properties. And sometimes we have listings right now that when you list a property, when a seller lists a property, right? That seller might, might receive two, three, four offers on that one property. Okay. So the seller is sitting back and there's not a lot of inventory or the, or, or the inventory seems to, to, uh, uh, to go down, but there's more buyers trying to, uh, trying to get after this properties. There is people literally entering the market now wanting to buy properties because they see opportunities. So, so we have properties that's listed. 
But now we have more buyers coming into the market trying to buy the properties that's already there. So there's a lot of buyers. And, and, and we have areas in Atlanta, Georgia, and I know there's people listening from all over the country. Um, but here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I will speak for Georgia right now, in Atlanta, Georgia, um, we have a situation in which um, you can list a house and you can get three, four, five offers uh, when you list that one home, okay? Um, so that's considered a seller's market. Sellers can list houses and can get multiple offers and that type of stuff. Right now, I'm a buyer. I'm, I, I'm an investor, but I'm also a buyer. I'm looking, hey, if there's a good deal, if there's a good situation out there, I'm willing to invest. I am willing to, you know, uh, make the investment. Now, can the market shift? Yes. Will the market shift? Yes. Have the market shift? Yes. I know a lot of y'all said, hey, it's a buyer's market because literally before the pandemic, January, February, before the pandemic started in March, yes, it was a buyer's market. You know, it, it, it you know, uh, it is what it is. It was a buyer's market and then it flipped. And during the pandemic, can it flip back and forth? Can it flip back and forth on, on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, semi-annually basis? The answer is absolutely yes, okay? We can have, uh, this thing can and it will flip. Now, with that being said, let's talk about some things that we can do right now to sell properties quickly or sell properties quicker, okay? So let's talk about pre-listing. So right now in the current market that we have, we have a pandemic. And so we have had a stay at home order. And I know people are watching from all over the, con uh, from all over the, con uh, uh, the country. So your particular area may or may not have a stay at home order or, um, you currently still, you might be in a stay at home order. But either way it goes, the pandemic right now, COVID-19 is still live, it's still happening, and it's still affecting us. So it should also affect the way we do business, okay? So let's talk about when we list a home or list a property for sale. So let's talk about the pre-listing. Here's some um, if you are a member of my coaching program, if you are a member of Platinum Real Estate, I have a lot of information on listing properties, okay? I have an online course. My online course has an entire section of videos as, uh, uh, as, well, as, uh, as well as e-manuals that strictly talk about listings. So I'm not going to talk about the basics, I'm not going to talk about some of the things we should always do with the listing. I'm going to, I want to talk about some things now over and above the norm that we should be doing right now for this particular pan, uh, pandemic. Number one, video conferencing, okay? Agents, when you have a client and that client contacts you and says, I want to have I want you to come by and give me a, me a listing presentation be, uh, because I am thinking about listing my property. The first thing that I always do is video conference. Even if it's just as simple as a um, uh, FaceTime live, all right? We need to use video to help run our business more than ever before. Sometimes people don't want uh, the face-to-face -face contact anymore because of COVID. And that might last for weeks, that might last for months. The reality is that might end up lasting for, a, for years, you guys. Video conferencing is something that I'm expecting to come and to stay. Back in the day, you guys know I was selling real estate back in the 80s, 90s. Um, Early 2000s, video conferencing wasn't thought of. Um, 2010, 2015, video conferencing became um, a, a little more popular, but it wasn't the norm. I really expect from here going forward 
your top notch, your multi million dollar producers, you need to use video conferencing. So, whenever you have a new client, yes, you contact them on the phone, but especially during this pandemic, offer video conferencing. Now, I'm not saying you should not visit that, a, a, that home. At some point, you need to visit the home. But here is why video conferencing can put you ahead of your competitors. So the other competitors, the other agents, they just simply say, hey, we, uh, we will meet in a week or three days or four days. You can say, no, let's do video conferencing now. Listen, let me tell you something about video conferencing as well. Always remember the old rule of thumb. You never get a second chance to make a first opinion. Let me say it again. You never, ever get a second chance to make that very first uh, impression on your client. So when you have that video conferencing, make sure when you do your video conferencing, you have the image of a professional. I know now we are able to work at home. <clears throat> we have remote offices, everything is virtual, but we still need to keep it professional at all times. So client contacts you, the first thing I would do, pick up the phone, obviously we, a, we, a, a, we talk, but then I love to set up video conferencing, especially with the current pandemic. Next, virtual tours. Vet virtual tours is an absolute must for your pre-listing. Um, everybody, uh, whenever somebody says, hey, I would like to view your property, I would like to view your listing, the first thing I am doing is, uh, is I am sending them my virtual tour. Take a look, look at the video that I've put together of the virtual tour. Why? Back in the day, we, have, we used to have a lot of traffic going through a listing, and we used to like a lot of traffic. We even taught back in, 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 in the 90s, early 2000s, we would say, you know what, a lot of traffic is good. A lot of traffic is wonderful. Why? Because we didn't have video, uh, 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 we didn't have virtual tours, we didn't have any of this stuff, so the only way a person could see a property was to actually go and tour the home. Now, especially with the, uh, 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 with the pandemic, and even moving forward years after the pandemic, the first thing you want to do, give everybody your virtual tour. Allow them to view the property through the virtual tour, okay? Another thing, with your pre-inspection, I would recommend, have your inspector inspect the property before you even put it on the market. When a person says, I would like to view the property, I would send them the virtual tour. I would also send, a, send them a copy of the inspection. The inspection is going to pass. Everything is completed on that inspection. There's nothing that's needed. There's nothing that has to be done. We have already completed a pre-inspection, okay? So they get, the, uh, uh, they get the virtual tour. They love the video from the virtual tour. They love the home inspection because everything has passed. That was done previous. So now when they go to see that property, they can spend less time in the, prop uh, uh, the property and it increases our chance of getting that full price offer because the home inspection is complete. Also, the virtual tour is complete as well. Every agent should get a copy of the virtual tour and the home inspection before they even go and see the property. So when that agent contacts you and says, Mr. Listing Agent, I would like to see your property. 123 M Street. Your response is perfect. Let me text you, let me email you the home inspection that's already completed as well as the virtual tour, okay? Current market, pandemic. We want um, quality showings, not a lot of showings. Let me, uh, let me make that statement again. 
new day and age we want quality showings rather than a lot of showings back in the day back in the 90s early 2000s the the thought was the more people that walk through this house the better right we want a lot of traffic even we would tell our you know clients we will we will monitor the traffic that goes through the home currently with uh, 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 due to uh, due to technology, we don't have to focus on the number of people. It's better to have quality. Now we have a pandemic. We don't want a lot of people coming through our home. The ultimate goal with any listing is to get what a offer to get a offer to sell the home. So is a, a, a so a so now our goal is quality, not quantity. So the first thing we want to do is when we receive that call, give as much information on the front end so that client can make a mental decision before they even walk through the property. When they walk, they walk through the property, it is, but it is basically pretty much a done deal. All right. Every listing provide hand sanitizer, new day and age, COVID-19. Every listing, when you come into my listing, I have hand sanitizer, I have um, napkins, tiles, something uh, for you to wash your hands when you enter any and all listings. Also, shoe coverings, very, very inexpensive. You can go to your local Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, uh, your local store. When they uh, enter, they can um, um, step in the little box, the shoe covering or comes over the shoes. They can now walk through the property with their hands sanitized as well as shoe covering. This will, uh, this will help you get the listing on the front end. So when you are telling your client, I will list your property, tell them this is um, services that you will provide. It will help you get that listing over the next agent. Hand sanitizer, shoe coverings, I don't even mind gloves. Have a box of gloves sitting right there. The gloves are really, really cheap, $5, Home Depot, Lowe's, but whatever, please feel free to take the gloves. Why? I want to protect the family that I'm listing the property for, and I want to also protect you. So it's a win-win on both ends. <clears throat> now, I am the professional taking action, being proactive to help everybody with this overall uh, pandemic uh, situation, okay? Okay, so um, at the front door, when the agent cracks the door and come in, you have a sign, feel free, use the hand sanitizer, please cover your shoes, please use gloves. And this is very important, very important, especially in this day and age. So, I have a listing. I am listing the property. So the agent says, hey, Luther, I would like to show this property in two or three days. I shoot them the virtual tour video. I shoot them a copy of the home inspection. I, a, 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 I send everything di a directly to them now. They say, Luther, I see everything. I love everything. I would like, like to see this property in two or three days. The next thing that I'm going to ask for is, please send me a copy of the pre-approval letter. Before you even walk into my home, please send me a, me a copy of the pre-approval letter. Now, every listing is going to be different. Every type of home is going to be different. But my higher end homes, homes that's over $300,000, I might talk to the uh, uh, to my sellers, and we might make it mandatory before you view this home. We need a pre-approval letter. I'm sure if the house is seven, eight, uh, eight, uh, eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars. Hey, pandemic, COVID nineteen. I'm not wanting just every happy go lucky. Uh, everybody's looking. This is not time for home tours. All right. This is not time for uh, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, new home tours. 
We're not doing that now. This is a pandemic. We are serious. And we need you to be serious. And serious. I do not have a problem saying, hey, listen, before you view this listing, please send me a copy of the pre-approval letter. Every listing uh, is different. But if it's a high-end listing, and, and, in, and, and I know some of you guys aren't from Georgia, but for, a, for my Atlanta folks, if it's Buckhead, pre-approval letter. Bankhead, you can come on and see it. All right? And so y'all understand what I mean when I say Buckhead and Bankhead. But basically, it could be a $200,000 house, $300,000 house, $500,000 house. Every listing is different. But one thing, uh, it, uh, it also depends on the uh, motivation of the, sales, of the seller as well. But I have no problem, especially on my higher end homes, saying, hey, before you uh, view this home, my seller is requesting a pre-approval letter before you view. Why? Because if you're really serious, um, you should provide a, a you know, pre-approval letter, especially with the current, current, uh, current pandemic. Now, normal real estate, it is, it is very hard to uh, get a pre-approval letter with normal real estate. But in the, in the case of this pandemic, I have no problem as a listing agent saying, hey, here is the, uh, 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 here are the guidelines that we would like to have before you view our property. Let's talk about buyers. Buyers, first, let me open up questions. Any questions about anything that I've discussed, let me check my chat. Um, you can also unmute yourself. Somebody says, Luther, thank you, good ideas. Somebody else says, Luther, great information. I, I can definitely use it for my listings. All right, good. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Glad you get questions, anybody? Questions so far? The chat line is open as well as you can unmute yourself and ask a question. Okay, so we've talked about some sellers there. Let's talk about buyers, buyer agency, okay? New day and age. Let's talk about, uh-oh, do I have a question? Uh, new day and age. Um, okay, is I'm going to cover that at, uh, at, uh, at, at the very end. Uh, yes, sir, I will cover that uh, at the end. Um, okay, so <laughs> the next thing is let's talk about some buyers. Let's talk about some buyers re uh, real quick. Um, um, buyers. So now let's flip the script and let's talk about buyer agency. Once again, right now, our buyers have the, you know, um, right now, our, uh, buyers have the internet at the palm of their hand. This little thing here, this cell phone, okay, this cell phone allows the buyer to have um, the internet at, at the palm of their hand. So one thing we have to do, and our goal is to get that uh, buyer brokerage agreement signed as soon as possible. Because without that buyer brokerage agreement, that, uh, 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 that buyer can use one agent, two agents, four agents. They can shop around and, and, and use anybody and everybody. So just sending buyers property or just have that buyer and out there willy-nilly out there by their self, you can use the deal. Now, let's talk uh, old school. Let's talk before pandemic. Let's talk, talk after pan, uh, pandemic. Before pandemic, we would receive a call for the, uh, from the buyer. We would sit down with them, and, uh, and, uh, and we would do a needs and wants analysis. Let's talk about what you need compare, uh, 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 compared to what you want. In my online um, 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 course, in my online course, I actually spell out with videos as well as manuals exactly what you need to tell a buyer. Buyer, here's a needs and wants analysis. Buyer, here is how I want to, to help you. Here is how my services is better than anybody else's services in this business. Back in the day, we would actually go sit down, meet face to face, and we would say, hey, 
here is the benefits of my services. I'm not going to go into detail now because I have an online course that, ex uh, uh, that explains all that stuff for you. But what we want to do right now is when that buyer calls, set up that video conference and, uh, and have a live video presentation. The same thing, the same thing that I teach in my online course, that's the exact same thing you want to do on your video conferences. Instead of being face-to-face, -face, meeting with that person face-to-face -face the way we used to do, now let's do video conferencing. Yes, Zoom is wonderful. I use Zoom. We're on Zoom now. There's a lot of different platforms out there. There's also FaceTime. That good old iPhone got FaceTime. FaceTime will get it done. Here's the goal. You want to, one, say, buyer, let's do a video conferencing right now. Why? Pandemic's here. Buyers might not want to meet you as much and be face-to-face -face with, uh, uh, with you as much, but the buyer still wants your services. They still want to buy a home. They still want to, to engage with you. But due to the pandemic, they don't want to come face to face and shake hands. I get it. But let's still do business. Let's do a, do a you know, video conference. Whether it's Zoom, whether it's FaceTime, whatever the case is, let's do this live uh, video conf uh, uh, do this live video conference. Here's the deal. You go into my online course. I set out exactly what you should do on that buyer's appointment. <coughs> Here's the difference. We, I, I used to teach, hey, go meet with them face to face. No, 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 no. You'll have to do that now with the pandemic. And moving forward, we might, uh, look, this, uh, this pandemic might change our business forever. Video conferencing is going to become very, very familiar, not only with real estate, but everything. Everybody's working from home now. Video conferencing is huge now. Um, so first step video conferencing. Here's another thing that I like about it. Get it done quickly. Okay, get it done quickly. Also, help your buyers. Ask the listing agent for a video showing. Agent, before I get my buyer and I take him to the property, send me your virtual shoot, uh, send me your virtual tour. Okay? Video showings is very, very popular now, okay? Um, I have actually went to a home, taking out my cell phone, um, the, uh, the property uh, was vacant, showed my client the entire property via technology. They, uh, uh, they loved it and, and they said, Luther, let's do it, let's put a contract on it. This one is it. So, videos, huge. Next. The goal is the buyer brokerage agreement. With your buyers, the goal is, a, if you do not have a buyer brokerage agreement, you do not have a agreement with your buyers. Your buyers can come, your buyers can go. Your buyers can use three, four, five different agents unless you have a buyer brokerage agreement. Step one, video conference. Go in the library, follow the instructions. Step one, video conference. Step two, at the end of the video conference, what is the goal? The buyer signs the buyer brokerage agreement. What's your email address? I will send you the buyer brokerage agreement right now. And, and your client signs the buyer brokerage agreement right then during the video conference. No, I'm not sending it. And then you're gonna go away and give it to me later. I am going to say during the live video call, call conference, go to your email, check your email right now. Client checks their email. When the client checks their email, uh, feel free uh, uh, to read over it. Ask me questions. Let's sign it. Let's move forward right now. What's the key to the video conference? What's the key to any buyer meeting? The very first one is to what? sign a buyer brokerage agreement because we don't have business if we don't have a buyer brokerage agreement okay all right couple of questions here all right you guys send me in a couple of questions um 
what would the what would the pre-approval letter say? Okay, excellent question. If I am and and we're taking a taking a step back here to the listing, um, if uh, if I am the listing agent, I am saying, hey, listen, I would love to show you the home. Do you have a buyer broker? Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I am the listing agent, and I say listing agent, right? Uh, the uh, uh, the agent represents the buyer contacts me and they say I would like to view the home fine send me the pre-approval letter the question here is what would the pre-approval letter say I want to know to what amount that uh, that the buyer is uh, uh, is pre-approved for what type of a loan conventional FHA VA how much and I basically want to know that this buyer is pre-approved. Why is this important? Because as a listing agent, I want to maximize the time and I want to minimize the risk for my seller. So the less people that go through that house, the less risk for my, sell a, for my uh, seller. So I want my seller to have um, quality showings not a whole lot of showings. Okay. Next question. Who pays for the home inspect inspection? If I'm listing a home and that seller's listing a home and that house is two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars, that seller will not have a problem paying for that inspection. Couple of reasons. Number one, the seller can pay for the inspection. So the question is, who pays for the home inspection? The seller. Okay, why? Because the seller understands if I pay for this inspection on the front end and some of these minor things, I can just get knocked out on the front end so I don't have to worry about having a major problem on the back end, okay? Also, I'm using my inspector. So I'm paying for it. I am using my inspector who is going to inspect the property my way. We all have had the inspector from hell. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The inspector that, uh, that goes in there and just rips the property apart trying to be a hero and just gives a whole bunch of uh, stuff on the inspection that's a opinion rather than code. Your inspector can put on the inspection things that, uh, uh, that fails code rather than quote unquote opinion. Okay, so yes, seller pays. Uh, seller pays for the investment. Uh, uh, seller pays for the inspection on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, on the front end, but it's an excellent investment. Okay. All right. Next, whenever you're showing property, whenever I'm showing property to my buyers, especially with this uh, pandemic, provide hand sanitizers. Provide masks again. Provide shoe coverings. Provide gloves. Okay. Oh, uh, we. Your goal is to set yourself apart from any other agent that your client have ever come in contact with. So those small things mean a lot. Um, when I was showing property property regularly in in the in the uh, summertime. I kept ice cold water in my trunk. Why? Because I would always say, hey, uh, clients didn't ride with me in, uh, in my car, but I would also I always offer them cold water. Why? Because if, uh, if, if you stay cool, we can see more properties. And I want to show you properties now on this one outing rather than, uh, rather than having to come back two, three, four times. So I would rather give you some cold water now in the summertime and, 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 and have you feel good. And I show you that, hey, that one last house rather than, right, you're hot and then we have to stop the showing. So buyers, hand sanitizers, masks, those type of things. What's the point? The point is this, listing and buyers both, right? Go the extra mile, especially in this a pandemic. Hand sanitizers, gloves, shoe covering, 
of video conferencing use technology to engage with your clients, okay? Let me check and see if I have any questions via chat. Um, and I do not. Okay. Next. Huge for the pandemic and moving forward. Okay. So for the pandemic and moving forward, very important. The question be, uh, uh, becomes, how can we get more buyers? How can we get more, a, 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 a more listings? What's hot and what's not? I want to really help you with something that's huge that's happening right now and you're really, really missing the boat if you're not taking advantage of, of it, and that is social media. Social media is the best way to hit your clients. You can hit target, target clients. Um, you can use specific zip codes. You can do all males, all females, certain age brackets. Um, I love social media advertising. Now we're learning that over the last 60 days, social media have increased 82%. Everybody's on social media now. Why? Why is everybody on social media? Very simple. Everybody's body is at home more because of COVID-19. All right. People are starting to use technology more because of what COVID-19 people are working home more because of what pandemic what should we do as entrepreneurs use that to our benefit use that to help us take our business to the next level if you're not on social media you are missing a huge 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 benefit you should get on social media daily and I don't mean social media just to talk social media to uh, grow your business. Now, some of the leading sites out there is Facebook and LinkedIn. You guys, every real estate agent, you should on a monthly basis have a budget to focus on Facebook. Now, in my online course, I have an entire section, both videos and manuals that strictly talk about social media marketing for real estate agents because social media marketing is a must. Um, I, I, I have some private um, coaching trainings strictly on Facebook marketing. So uh, this webinar, I don't, I, I don't not have a lot of time uh, to get in detail, but go into the online course. One of the first uh, uh, manuals that I want you to read is the a one on social media marketing. Huge, you guys. And Facebook and, and LinkedIn, two sites you have to use. Twitter, Pinterest, all of them are great, but, uh, but Facebook is the biggest, the largest, the best right now. Now, when you start your social media marketing, because of the pandemic, you cannot do your social media marketing the way you did before the pandemic. So saying things like, the market is hot, interest rates are low, buy now. No, nope, that's not it anymore. Let me say that again. Your social media have to change after the pandemic and during the pandemic. The old school way is market's hot, interest rates are low, buy now. <laughs> <laughs> etc cetera, etc cetera, that's out okay what's in you need to educate motivate and inspire again you need to be sensitive we have a pandemic um, there's folk out there who have lost their jobs there's folks out there who are going through some changes who is uh, who is uh, who is uh, who is who is going through some transitions okay you have to be sensitive. You have to educate and motivate. So before the pandemic, those things work. Buy now, interest rates low, market is hot, it, you know, economy's great. Let's go make millions and billions and trillions of dollars. That was 
pre-pandemic. Now, our goal is to be a little more sensitive. When you're doing your social media marketing, when you do all marketing, here's what I want you to do. I want you to look at what you're putting out there. Is it educating people? And is it motivating people? If it's not, don't do it. Okay? If it's not, don't do it. Totally different day and age. Okay? Is I'll discuss that in uh, uh, that in a minute. Um, what's working now with the pandemic is community posts and engagement posts. So now it's time for a for us to engage with our followers. Now is the time for us to engage with the community. We need to become a community expert. Let me give you an example. I said educate, motivate, and it needs to be timely. Right now is a great time uh, to say, hey, listen, here is a copy of every COVID uh, drive-through testing site in the county or in the area, okay? I am the expert. I am here to help you. I am not here just to sell you real estate. Yes, that's my profession. That's, yes, that's my job, but, but I need to educate you about real estate. I need to motivate you about real estate, but I also need to show everybody that I have a common side as well. I am here to support you through this pandemic, meaning this, hey, listen, uh, one of your posts can be something like, hey, I, I, I'm just listing every COVID drive-through testing spot in the county of Decatur or DeKalb or Fulton County or Douglas County or Cobb County or Gwinnett County or whatever. I specialize in this county, right? I, I, I live in this specific county. I go to church in this specific county. I am here to help the community. So here is a list of every single testing spot drive-through testing spot in this county. Again, a engagement post. So I'm engaging with my community. I'm not just trying to just sell you real estate. Yes, I have posts like that as well. Yes, I educate you on, you know, real estate as well. Yes, um, I, am, I am here to serve all of your real estate needs. But over and above that, all right. I am also here to engage and to help you because it is a pandemic and I understand um, the, uh, 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 that, uh, uh, that this can be a, uh, be a very sensitive time for many. Next, giveaways. Hey, right now, go to your Facebook page and say, listen, I am going to have a giveaway. I am going to... Uh, you send me your a uh, your a uh, uh, your HOA, and send me the name of your HOA, the name of your community, and I will host your next HOA party. Um, I will have a HOA Zoom party for your HOA community, and I will sponsor it a hundred percent. Maybe I will have a hundred dollar giveaway or a fifty dollar giveaway. Or I will have a, you know, giveaway to whatever, right? What am I doing? I am engaging with the community. Um, the HOA uh, 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 that I live in. And I told, told, I, I, I told, I told them, look, I will provide Zoom for the HOA. Um, we have some new things coming out. And... Um, I was uh, talking uh, talking to uh, some members on uh, on the committee, and I said, "Hey, listen, people don't want to get together the way we used to. I get it; it's a pandemic. So guess what? Let's use Zoom. And I have a Zoom account, and I and I will provide it. The whole party, the whole meeting, it's on me." Also, provide giveaways at these HOA events. During the Zoom uh, uh, segment, 
Give away 50 bucks. Give away 100 bucks. Give away a gift certificate. Give away something. Why? Because now with the new pandemic, we're all doing things differently. We, but we want to come together, but we, have to, a, a, but we have to do it safely with these types of groups. Okay? So, hey, go on social media. Enter your HOA. Uh, listen, I will choose one. I will choose three. I will choose five, depending on your budget. Um, I can do multiple uh, uh, HOAs. Okay. Next, um, you need to become, you want to become the local expert in your community during these times. Um, so give information not only about real estate, but give information about the pandemic. Listen, when, uh, 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 when your governor gives out um, uh, guidelines on, on phase one, phase two, phase three, you need to be the first one saying, hey, here's the guidelines from phase one. Here's the guidelines from phase two. Here's the guidelines from phase three. You are the local expert in your community. You are the go-to person for everything in your community. This is important. Why? Yes, we're in a pandemic now, but you need to be the first person on the cutting edge, on the front saying, this is what's going on in our community. Contact me and I can tell you what's going on in the community. All of the local um, district leaders and, and all of the community leaders, I, I, I I have developed friendships. I have developed communication with. Why? Because I want to be on the cutting edge so I know everything that goes on in this community because I am not only a real estate professional, but I am also a leader and I am an expert in the community. So I know before the pandemic, we was real estate, real estate, real estate. Nothing wrong with that. We still need to be the real estate expert, but we also need to be the expert that's here for the entire community because now and in the future, people will do business with you because during the pandemic and after the pandemic, you are the local community expert, okay? Questions, any, uh, any questions? Questions, questions, questions. The chat line is open for questions. All right, I have a question here. It says, uh, you're very thoughtful. Uh, it, uh, I know, cool drink is satisfying. Great, wonderful, glad, glad you like that idea. Somebody said, how can I get access to the online course? Okay. Let's talk about the online course right now. I mentioned the online course. Let me tell you where I'm at as your coach and as your leader. So from my platinum real estate agents to individuals in, in my coaching program, even if you're not in my coaching pro, uh, program, I have developed the Million Dollar Producer online course. Now, I develop a, this a course for a one-stop shop where you can go for everything that you need for, a, 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 for your success. Listings, buyer agency, you name it, it is in the course. Um, the million dollar online course basically works like this. To answer the question of, of the gentleman uh, who just asked. Um, within the course, I have scripts of everything you should do and say step by step. So if you're dealing with a buyer, there's a lot of buyer online leads. A lot of agents miss business because not knowing what to say. So I have scripts for, a, 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 for everything. For instance, far sale by owner, um, expired listings, um, the listing presentation, um, also the buyer presentation. I have scripts and I have videos that show you the script. So on the online course, you will receive a login, you will, you, uh, you will receive a passcode, and you will be able to log in to the online course 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 
and you will be able to read the scripts and watch the videos that explains the uh, 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 that explain the scripts so you can maximize every single lead that comes your way next business plan the business plan is a three hundred dollar value and uh, and the uh, and the uh, business plan takes you step by step on how you should put together your business also as a part of the million dollar producer on, uh, online course when you complete your plan you can uh, uh, you can e uh, email that plan to me coaching at platinumrealestate.com i will then give you a free one hour one-on-one -on -one consultation to discuss your business plan to make sure that your business plan is in place to help you succeed listen you guys if you do not plan uh, 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 as if you're not planning for success you will fail and that's just the reality so the first thing you have to do is have a uh, have a business plan many agents I always ask what's your specialty what makes you different and unique what's your unique proposition that makes you different from any other agent in this county most people most agents don't know next million dollar producer training training i believe every agent should be and have the ability to be a multi-million dollar producer I show you step by step exactly what to do to become that multi million dollar uh, uh, to become that multi million dollar producer within the next 12 months. Now, let me be very, very clear. I said multi million dollar producer within the next 12 months. Um, I have I have agents and and I'm not going to call a, uh, a you know call their name, but they're on this webinar right now i have a gentleman who joined my company and he he filled out his uh, his business plan he's a great individual to coach and he have already closed two deals um with it uh, 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 within the first 60 days joining the company why because he filled out the plan and he followed the plan step by step. What I love about coaching agents is um, when you follow the plan, you can have major success. Next, I, uh, during, the, uh, during the presentation is I talked about social media. I, I have a full social media training, both in manuals as well as video that show you step by step what you should do Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, et cetera, et cetera. That is a $200 value. So the script is a $500 val uh, val value, business plan $300, million dollar producer uh, uh, train training, both, uh, both videos and manuals, $500 value, social media training, $200 value, Within my course, I have a full internet marketing system. This is internet marketing. This is a $500 value. This is internet marketing for real estate agents. Very, very powerful. I have both manuals as well as videos. I have the entire listing system uh, that shows you step-by-step -step how to list um five properties every 30 days so that listing system is but uh, is 500 dollars and the backbone of our business is prospecting you must prospect I, 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 I know the old saying is to list is to last and that's very very true right to list is to last the way the way you are successful in this business to list is the last that's true but nothing starts without prospecting. Every agent should prospect on a daily basis. One thing that I do with my system is we actually carve out time that you should prospect every single day. Prospecting is the key to your business. That phone must ring 
for you to be successful. The prospecting system is a $500 value, total value for the entire online course, $3,200. So internet marketing, listing, prospecting, social media, business plan, the scripts, everything, total value, $3,200. What I'm doing with the online course, I am reducing the $3,200 to only a one-time investment of only $197.70. So this is what I'm doing, you guys. The entire online course, you will receive a login and passcode. You will be able to enjoy the system 24 hours a day, seven days a week, online, your investment is, uh, is only $197, that's it. How do you get started? Go to my website right now, lutherragsdale.com. Go to lutherragsdale.com and click the online course. Again, go to my website, lutherragsdale.com right now and click on the online course, your investment is only 197. Now, I know some of you guys are, guys are saying, Luther, um, I have been to your seminars, I have been to your workshop, and that same online course was 497. I get it, yes. At one point, the entire online course, all of the stuff was 497. I have reduced it to 190. Seven. Go online right now, lutherragsdale.com, and you can get this course right here for only $197. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually go right now, and I'm going to go live um, to that site, and I'm going to show you live right now exactly where it is, okay? So there's my website, lutherragsdale.com. If you see at the top, it says lutherragsdale.com. Go right there to online courses. Go down one link. Very big says online courses. You go right there to online course. You click right there on, 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 on that link. And I have two online courses. I have the wealth building course. The wealth building course is for those individuals who say, Luther, I want to buy real estate. I want to be an investor. I, you, you, you know, maybe I have real estate license. Maybe I don't have a, a have real estate license, but I want to invest in real estate. I want to buy single family homes. I want to buy apartment complexes. I want to buy duplexes. If that's the case, this course right here, Luther Ragsdale's wealth building course, that course is for you. If you want to invest in real estate, the first course is my wealth building course. That's for investing in real estate. What we just discussed, the million dollar producer, the, a, the second course right here is for licensed real estate agents. So if you are a licensed real estate agent and, uh, and you want to list properties, you are a licensed real estate agent, you want to have more buyers, you want to take your real estate career to the next level. You want to learn how to prospect. This course right here, Luther Ragsdale's Million Dollar Producer, this is for real estate agents right here, and it's a one-time investment, 197. Here's the deal, you guys. Think of it like this. If you close one deal, just simply one deal, and you receive one commission check, is it worth $197? The answer is yes, all day. You know, you have been listening to me on this webinar. If you learn anything during this webinar, I guarantee you, you're going to learn something at this Million Dollar Producer online course. So once again, one-time investment, 197. You will receive a login and passcode. You will have full access to all of the information and your investments only 197. Um, here's the deal, you guys. Let's talk about return on investment. All right. 
Invest 197 now. You close one deal that is worth 197. Average cost of a home right now, $300,000. 3% commission, $9,000 commission. So if the average commission right now is about 9,000, okay, okay, let's say 200,000. But let's say that's a, say that the average house is 200,000. That is still a $6,000 commission. If you go into the online course and learn strategies and you close just one house, just one listing, just one contract, and you receive a check, that commission check for $6,000, it is more than worth $197. That's a huge return on in, uh, investment. So you, uh, you just come, uh, come here at lutheragsdale.com, click the online course, scroll down here, push sign up here, and you can sign up for the course. Username, e uh, email, first name, last name, passcode. And then once you fill out this information, we do accept all major credit cards, debit cards, etc. Then the system will email you your login and passcode. You come right back to a to the online course, click login, and you can log in and enjoy this powerful online course you know i always say that a wealthy man takes advantage of opportunities right now you have an opportunity to take your real estate career to the next level okay well <clears throat> i am running out of time my time have expired but you guys thank you very much as always, let's stay in, uh, stay in, stay you know in contact. Please visit my uh, my website lutheragsdale.com. Also my a uh, my a uh, my corporate site platinumrealestate.com. And if you guys are uh, uh, if you're not a part of the platinum family, but you would love to become a part of the platinum family, please contact us careers at platinumrealestate.com. Again, please contact us at careers at platinumrealestate.com. I'm Luther Ragsdale. Thank you. May God bless you.